John continues. When Jesus had thus said, he was troubled in spirit and testified and said, Verily, verily, I say to you that one of you shall betray me. This is where Matthew and Mark pick up. Matthew, I already used, and as they did eat, so I can continue with, He said, Verily I say to you, that one of you shall betray me. Mark, I already used, and as they sat and did eat, so now I can continue with, Jesus said, Verily I say to you, one of you which eats with me shall betray me. Luke, I finished up with his statement about how you need to be servants instead of kings and trying to rule over people. The last verse was 30, that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and sit on thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. But I don't think I'm going to move yet into, and the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat, but I have prayed for you. I don't think I'm going to go into that because as I stated earlier, Luke is pretty out of order for this set of events at the Last Supper. So I'm just going to go right into him talking about the betrayer, which is verse 21. But behold, the hand of him that betrays me is with me on the table. So there's no introductory phrase there. I think it would make more sense to go with John. And then whatever matches with Matthew and Mark, I'll fit in here with John because those are short. So beginning with John, when Jesus had thus said, but Jesus is in Mark. So I'll have when from John, Jesus, Mark and John, had thus said, John, said is all three, Matthew, Mark and John. He is Matthew and John. Now finishing up with just John, was troubled in spirit and testified. John continues with and said, but that's kind of annoying. And testified and said, I don't think you need both. And I think it actually causes a problem because what I want to do, I already thought about this. What I want to do is include this first word, but from Luke, because this is a change in topic or expectation. Before he had just finished saying from John, Verily, verily, I say to you, he that receives whomsoever I send receives me, and he that receives me receives him that sent me. So now he's talking about his betrayer, so it should be a switch in wording, a change in expectation. He should start with but. When Jesus had thus said, he was troubled in spirit and testified, but one of you will betray me. Which means I can't have and said, but one of you will betray me. And since it's already written and testified, I don't think I need said. So I'm just going to leave off and said. He was troubled in spirit and testified, but one of you will betray me. When Jesus actually begins saying, one of you will betray me, in John it's verily, verily. In Matthew, it's verily only once. In Mark, it's verily only once. In Luke, it's behold once. So I think the best combination of all three would be only one word, because only John has two. And for it to be verily, because three, Matthew, Mark, and John have verily, not behold. So I'm going to go with just one verily, like Matthew and Mark. So this will be Matthew, Mark, John, the darkest, verily. Matthew, Mark, continue, I say to you. That's not in Luke. John, I say to you. John continues, that one of you shall betray me. Matthew, that one of you shall betray me. Matthew and John are the same. Mark, one of you which eats with me shall betray me. Luke, 
The hand of him that betrays me is with me on the table. So he doesn't say one of you. Mark seems to be a middle ground between Matthew and John and Luke. One of you which eats with me. The hand of him that betrays me is with me on this table. I'm going to go with the majority witness. Matthew, Mark, and John. One of you. Not just being more general. The hand of him. And I'll add from Luke. On the table. One of you which eats with me shall betray me. The hand of him is on the table. That'd be a little strange, but at least I wouldn't be cutting out like the whole verse from Luke because Luke is very different from Matthew, Mark, and John. So I'll go with that. One of you, or that one of you. Matthew and John begin with that. And Luke does have the word that in here. That betrays me. Otherwise, I would just be leaving out the word. So I'll start with that. That one of you is Matthew. Mark, John, so that's darker gray again. Mark has something extra. Which eats with me. That's just Mark. shall betray me. Mark shall betray me. Matthew John shall betray me. So that's darker gray. Dark gray shall betray me. Betrays is in Luke but I'm not going to have betrays. It's just betray. So I'm going to leave off the one from Luke. But me is all four now. So I'm going to leave off any color because it's also in Luke. So I'll add what Luke says, which is the hand of him. Then I'm going to skip that betrays me. Go right to is. with me the one of you which eats with me oh with me I'm gonna use that not repeat it so this with me is Mark and Luke so now all I have left is the hand of him is on the table <laughs> 